Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, Put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Psalm 121 verses 7 to 8 The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. How is your day today? I pray that this day is a special day, not because we are having this Christ Emphasis Week, but because God made this day for you, a special day for a special people like you. Yes, you heard it right. You are special because God created you in a special way in a unique way. Verse taken from the book of Psalm 139, verses 13 to 16 says, For you created in my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, God is there forming you. Your eyes saw my unformed body. Bisan fitos palang kita. God sees us already. God saw it already. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. See? That's how God created us in a very unique and special way. So, you, me, we are all special in the sight of God. Because you are special, God wanted to put coverings to you. God wanted to cover you. Example, ang special gift, may special ginasang coverings. Babalaan mo ang isa ka special gift kaysa Wrapping siya pa lang, special na. May laso-laso na, colorful, tapos kung ano, pwede nga mga arts na makita mo. So, amuna ang special person, ginatabunan, ginasang Diyos, ginahalungan, gina, ginaproteksyonan nila sa Diyos. So, and His coverings, actually, God wanted to cover us, okay? So, His coverings were, were made not just to hide us, but to protect us. We need protective coverings nowadays. Kinanglanon, tagi na ang protection. 
ang PPE, for example, sa mga frontliners, kinang lana to cover themselves, to protect themselves against a virus. Ang face mask na ginasuksok natin adlaw-adlaw, kag daw hindi nakita kaginhawa. Ang face shields, ang vaccinations, all of these were made to protect us against COVID-19. Hindi lang ganit protection sa virus. We need also to protect ourselves from people who want to harm us. Ang gusto kita i-inflect, gusto kita isamaron. So gusto natin protection sa sina ang mga tao. But sometimes, coverings were not meant to protect, but also to hide. To hide example, to hide a sinful acts. Example, nag-cheat ikaw during exam. So, siyempre, tabunan mo na para hindi ka makita. Nag-cheat ikaw sa imo boyfriend or sa imo girlfriend. Siyempre, nga may ka-date ka, siyempre, ka panago ka to. Kung din ka mo to nag-date, date ka ko. Ginatago mo yung cellphone para nga hindi makitaan sa imo mga boyfriend or girlfriend. Ang uh, may ka-chat ka daang alain. So, Tago-tago portion. So, may ara man nga you wanted to cover the unacceptable self-image. Hindi ka nanamian sa imong uh, guya, so natabunan mo na sa make-up. Ang iba, no? Gusto niya tabunan ang bagay nga hindi niya gusto siya ako gulingon. Natabunan niya sa bayo, natabunan niya sa make-up, kung ano, pwede nga mga sabon, pampaputi, kaya hindi ka gusto sa itong nga itsura mo. Okay? May araman nga ginatabon ang guilt feelings. Gusto mo tabunan ang guilt feelings from disobeying God. So, gusto mo na tabunan. Ginakadlaw-kadlaw mo lang. So, pero deep inside, um, kalain ng imobalatsyagon, may, may guilty ka na because you re- rebel against God. So, go, going back to the Bible, like Adam and Eve, they hide themselves after disobeying God. And What did they do? They sewed fig leaves as coverings to their naked body. So naghimo sila ya sang tabon-tabon sa ilang nga sala. Nga nag-disobey sila, nagkaon sila sang forbidden fruit. Nga hindi to dapat pagpakaon sa ila, pero ginkaon nila. They, they disobey, they rebel against God, so they wanted to put coverings in themselves. They they made coverings for their naked body. Sila lang yan ang imo So what is the solution of God? Sa sina nga problema, sa sina nga senaryo, ginkuha sang Diyos ang coverings nga sila lang naghimo-imo. Kay hindi to long term nga coverings. Dahon lang to, malaya lang to the next day. So mahimo naman sila, mapile up lang sila sang cover-ups, cover-ups, cover-ups kag mag-evolve ina into a complex of problems. Nga budlay-budlay man mag-solve. No? So kung may mga cover-ups, cover-ups, kadamo-damo nga mga cover-ups da, ka-create ka lang sang, sang multiple problems sa mga kabuhi. So, and God made Himself a covering. God Himself made a covering nga naghalin sa skin of animals. So ginatawag man ini nga covering of love because there is a sacrificial act. Ang Diyos nag-sacrifice ang animal, ginkuha ang skin, kagintabon dito sa kay Adam, kag kay Eve. No? Skin of animals. Kaginanglan pat yun, magandang animals. Hindi pwede nga kuhaan mo lang sa skin, kagpadlaganon mo itong buhay, nga dagadlagan, itong nga wala na sa panit. Ito kabrutal man ang klase, no? kung amo na ang himuon sa inang animal. Pero napatay gitong animal. Nagpatulog gitong sang dugo. Kag kung mag-fast forward kita sa New Testament, Amo na na si Jesus Christ nag-shed sang iyang blood kay according sa Hebrews without shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins see so nagpatulo gyud sang dugo si Jesus in fact he died on the cross to cover us from our mess so this covering works in two ways ang covering sang Dios and God's protective covering It works in two ways. Number one, to cover us from the effect of sin. No? Ang sin, ang effect ng sin. Nakahimo na kita sala sa past life naton, or subong nagahimo ka pa sala, God will cover you from the effects of that sin kung matabunan kita. 
Example sang shamefulness, sang guiltiness. Example ng mga effects ng sin. And second is to protect us from further attack of the enemies. Kaya ang enemy wala nagauntat, create sang iyang uh, strategies to attack us, to destroy our lives. So amuna ang double purpose na protection, na function sang protective covering sang God sa aton. So here comes Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. Ang, ang aton na text sa sininga si EW. Discovering called the armor of God. Hindi na skin of animals, kundi armor na. Gin upgrade na. Okay? So please watch this video. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So we need God's protective covering. We need God's protective covering. So this is the title of the message. Why we need to protect ourselves? That is the question. Why we need to protect ourselves? Because like what I've said, like what the Bible said, the enemy in verse 11, the enemy has its own tactics, schemes, or strategies to attack us and create further damage in our life. So this is now the hardest battle, the hardest, the tough, the difficult battle because you cannot see, we cannot see our enemies. Hindi natin sila makita. Invincible. Parios kay Amon sa Mobile Legends. Kung nagahampang ka mo, Mobile Legends, siguro gampang mga mo. Ang bago sa buong hero nga si Amon. First skill niya pa lang, nag invincible na sa. Next thing you know, aran sa sa imutupad, gamit na sa sang ultimate niya, patay ka na. Hindi mo makita, kibot ka lang, ara na sa sa tupad mo, kag na victim ka na yan, napatay ka na na. So let us go back to the Bible. Because this is spiritual battle, uh, hambal sang Bible, we are against not the flesh of humans, but against principalities, um, evil forces of this world against spiritual realms, uh, dark forces in this world. So, because this is spiritual battle, we need spiritual equipment or armor. No? This armor is spiritual armor to stand against the spiritual forces of the enemy. The spiritual forces of the enemy. So, the armor of God. First, the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. 
nga ang gintawag ang helmet of salvation or ang helmet nga salvation gin equate ang helmet sa salvation kag ang helmet were meant to protect our head okay so ang head naton tama na importante ginapinsar naton the moment you receive Jesus Christ as your lord and personal savior you have to put there in your mind that you are saved already kag hindi ka na maghatag chance kay Satan nga mag hatag sang doubt sa imo kaugalingon nga amo na eh, may coach nga naghambal nga be careful what you think be careful what you think it might become your words be careful what your words it might become your action be careful what your action it might become your habit and your habit might become your destiny from what you think of it leads to your destiny See? So, dapat paminsaron ta gid ni kun once nga na receive na naton si Jesus Christ, we have to guard our minds. Nga save na kita para nga ang enemy hindi na makahatag da sang doubts kag makabalik, mapabalik sa aton sa aton past. Kay usually hindi kita maka move on because sang mga unresolved conflicts na aton sa aton past. Pero we have to put that into our mind that Jesus Christ is already in us wanted to protect us and to lead us into a better life a better future next is the breastplate of righteousness now this righteousness is not coming from ourselves it is actually a righteousness of god a righteousness of god through jesus christ okay Um, kay kun ang righteousness ang pagkamatarong ginabasihan naton sa aton ko gilingon no we are not perfect substandard kita hindi ni halin sa hindi ni nabase sa law sa old testament law kay may duwa ka righteousness nga ginahalinan righteousness coming from the law nga napasaran mo na tanan nga law kag ang righteousness through Jesus Christ according to St Paul so ining righteousness comes from Jesus Christ, the righteousness of Christ, to do good, to be good, to stay kind, to be patient. Amo ni, you know, dapat mangin maayo kita. Kag ina nga kaayuhan, halina, reflection na, halin sa character ni Christ. Tapos ang truth, the belt of truth. Nga ang truth, ginbutang sa belt. Amo ni, ang, kung, kung try mo ma-imagine ang Roman soldier nga wala sang belt. Kalaba na sang ila nga bayo. Mabudlay na magiho kun wala sang belt actually. So ang belt of truth is actually a representation of confidence of staying in the truth. Ang ara ka bala sa kamaturan, kag kun once nga ara ka sa kamaturan, kag balaan mo nga ara ka sa kamaturan, nagadala na sa imo sang freedom to mobilize to go where, wherever you want to go or whenever you want to go. Kung saan, oh, kag diin ka man makadto, wala ka sang natago, kag wala ka sang ginapanaguan, kay balo ka, ang ara ka sa kamaturan. You see? And that truth is Jesus Christ. Anong hambal sa John 14:6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus Christ is that truth that we wanted to wear. Okay, ang helmet of salvation, salvation through Jesus Christ. Ang breastplate is also a breastplate of righteousness. Is a is righteousness that comes through Christ. Kag ang truth nga halin man sa kay Christ. Then ang sword of the word of God. Ang sword. Dapat kabalo kita magmaneuver sa sina nga sword. Ang aamon ang word of God. Nga dapat kabalo kita maggamit sa word of God. Kay ang word of God is actually has the power to penetrate even to the deepest marrow of our bone. Namo nang hambal sang Bible. Ti kun i-attack kita sang enemy, hindi lang kita mag-cover. Dapat ma kun may defense kita, may offense man kita para nga uh, using the word of God ma-defeat nato ng enemy. So we have to put that into our life. We have to study God's word para nga hindi kita ma-tempt kag hindi kita mag-give in kag para maka-attack balik kita sa sa enemy tapos ang helmet of salvation ay ang shield of faith i mean ang shield of faith 
ang shield of faith actually hindi lang na, na hindi lang na siya nagaquench sa mga fiery fiery attacks of the enemy hindi lang amo nang iyang purpose although ngati amo na ino nagasagang ka pero actually ang shield kung maglantaw kita sa Troy no starring si Brad Pitt ang 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 shield sang mga Trojan amo na actually ang ginaimagine kung ang klase sang shield ang shield of faith ang shield sang mga Trojan that time once nga mabutang nila ahead sa ilang position ang ilang shield may anchor na sa dalom kay laba-laba ng ilang shield as sa ground may anchor na nga nagapilit dito sa soil or sa rocks nga ginano nila kag once they create uh, space in between sang shield kag sang ilang self maka-advance na sila sang ilang position okay maka-advance na sila sa ilang position amo na ang function sang faith sa atong life ang faith nag-extend sang atong nga human limitation Amo lang ni masarangan ta, amo lang ni masarangan ta. But with faith, we can do further. We can soar higher. We can walk longer. No, nag-extend sa aton nga human limitation. That's the works of faith. That's the work of faith. So, next is amo na, na complete ta na. The next thing is prayer. We have to cover us ourselves with prayer para nga intact ang aton nga armor nga ginasuksok. So, ah, may isa pagali, ang footshod of the readiness of the gospel of peace. Nan, amo na sa. The footshod or ang aton subong nga, nga image sang sang army nga naka full battle gear, amo nang combat. Ang combat nga anytime ready ka sa pag-share sang gospel, kun din ka man makadto, kun din ka man nagpakadto, ready ka to share the gospel of peace and what is the gospel of peace what is gospel the good news the good news that god dwelt among us through jesus christ or in the flesh of jesus christ and save us from the penalty of sin he died on the cross he died on the cross he was buried and after three days he rose again and those who want to follow him will also receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. See, all of these things connected, all of these parts of this armor connected to Jesus Christ himself. So, why we need, the next question is, why we need to put the armor of God? Why we need protective coverings coming from God? Because the Bible says, the enemy has its schemes. May schemes siya. May tactic siya to destroy us again and again and again. So, kinanglan natin sang long-term protection. Hindi lang sang aton-aton lang nga ginhimo, nga protection sa aton kaugalingon. Kaya hindi na sa long-term effect. Nag-create lang kita, nag-manufacture lang kita sang another problem kung kita lang magtabon-tabon. So, gusto sang Diyos, siya ang magtabon. So why? Because the enemy has its schemes. Paano ang iyang schemes? Paano natin mabalan ang iyang schemes? Kinanglan mabalan natin. No? Ang muna ang war, di ba? We must know the strategies of our enemy. So, ano ang humble sang Bible regarding its schemes? The scheme of the devil, the enemy? 1 Peter 5.8 Control yourselves sa New Century Version. Control yourselves and be careful. The devil, your enemy, goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Or sa ibang nga translation, rolls around like a lion, roaring like a lion, looking someone to devour. Amo na sa ibang nga translation, sa NIV. So, sa sining text, we can see three steps or three Uh, ways to hunt its prey. The devil will hunt its prey. Kag may tatlo ini ka points. First, the enemy goes around or prowls around, around like like a lion, like a lion. So nagalibot siya. He is looking for your weakest spot. Ang 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 lion nga nagahunt bala sang iyang prey. Why na siya nagahulag-hulag? Nagapanago lang na dasa. 
kag nagapanilag sang imong nga pinakaluya nga bahin sang imong nga lawas kun sa group of sa herd no sang animals nagapangita sa sang weakest link nagalan tawo na sa sinudang maluya sinudang sickly masakiton sinudang hinay magdalagan amo na dayon ang nga target indi na na madula yang uh, mata sa iyang nga target naka focus na, na naka lock na, na naka focus na, na. So, hindi, bisan di ka makadokita, ay nakana dayon. The next step is, he will create a very intimidating sound. Roar! Roaring like a lion. The enemy wants to establish his territorial domain or a territorial domain. Gusto yang ay hambal nga. Ah, kon ka na. Ang iyang ownership bala. Amo nang gina-establish niya every time the lion roars. Amo nang gina-establish niya. Kung sa aton pa, ah, kon ka na. Wala ka na kawala. Amo nang ambal niya. Hindi ka na kapalagyo. So, very intimidating. Very intimidating. So, the third and the last is the enemy will eat you alive. Dira, tapos ka na gid. He will devour you and he will crush your life. Then you will be robbed of joy and happiness to exist. Magambal ka na dahil nga tani na patay na lang ko, wala na ako paglaong nga mabuhi pa. Mas suicide na lang ko, miserable na ang kabuhi ko. Hindi na ako, mapariwala ka na. Amo nang iya nga mga schemes para nga ma-defeat niya kita. So that's why you, me, we, we need to put on God's protective coverings. It is Christ actually transcending whether it is a skin of animals or the armor or the character of Christ. Amo man nagyapon. Ang butsilingon sina, it simply shows that God is protecting His special people like you and me. Because God knows our worth. God knows your worth. Kung may mga iban nga tao nga nagademean sang imong nga existence, nagademean sang imong nga value. Hindi amo nang Dios. God knows how special you are. God knows your value. God knows your worth. Especially in this pandemic. Especially in this pandemic. Probably one of your relative is or was hospitalized. Kagdamo-damo na sang balayran sa ospital. Or probably one of your relatives died. Probably your parents na patay sa COVID-19 man, or sa iban nga masakit, or ang ibang mga parents na dulaan ubra kag nabudlayan na kamo financially this time, or na 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 biktima kamo sang scam dery sa kapis kag asta subong nabudlayan kamo magbayad sang inyong nga gin loan. Or ang iban nga tao na dula na ang trust sa inyo. He will make, the enemy I mean, will make your life more miserable. Just to find your weakest spot. Hasta nga mag-give up ka na. The enemy will tell you lie after lies. To make you down. To discourage you. And he will rob you of joy and happiness in life he will send a lot of trolls in the internet to confuse you and to distract you about the truth amo nang iyang obra this is the real battle on the ground so we have to be alert amo nang hambal sang bible be careful be watchful be alert because the devil is prowling going around roaring looking someone to devour So we have to be on guard always. Amo na nga kun kis-a kun nabudlayan ka na sa imong virtual class, naburingan ka na, na overload ka na sang imong mga requirements. Kag gusto mo na lang mag-give up kay nag-away ba ka mo sang imong boyfriend ka girlfriend. Kag gusto mo na mag-suicide before you entertain that thoughts. You must know this. You must know this truth. God is with you today God is with you and he wanted to cover you God wants you to cover 
you from the schemes of the enemy because you are special to him. Know this truth that the moment you receive Jesus Christ in your life, he will come to you and help you gain your confidence in life. Yes, I will say it again. He will help you gain or regain your confidence in life. Through Christ, makahambal ka da yun, I am protected. Okay? Say it with me. Through Christ, I am protected. Again, through Christ, I am protected. So I assume that you speak it loud with me. So please watch this short video and after this i will end it with a prayer ang tahimik nakakapanibago pero tumingin ka sa paligid mo ang bilis lang ng oras bago ang daming nangyayari bilang ang oras at panahon ng buhay ng isang tao pero karamihan ng tao hindi alam kung ano ang dahilan kung bakit siya nabubuhay dito sa mundo gumigising sa umaga nag-iisip kung ano ang gagawin sa buong maghapon nangangarap, nagmamahal nagigisa, nalulungkot naiinis, nagagalit Natatakot Ang daming dahilan Ang daming tanong Pero ni isa walang sagot Sagot kung bakit tayo naguguluhan at nahihirapan Pero isa lang ang alam kong kasagutan Yun ay Ang Diyos na nagbigay Wala ka lang. Hindi ka nag-isa. Kasama mo siya. Let us pray. Almighty and sovereign God, once again, we thank you for the life of these students that indeed, despite of hardships in life, despite of difficulties brought by this pandemic or any negative situations that they are facing today, thank you, O God, that you proved already that you or they are still special in your sight because you created them in a unique way. And because they are special, O oh God, you wanted to keep them safe. So thank you at this point of time, Lord. I pray that these students, although virtually, they will receive your blessing through this CEW. They will receive your instructions, your message, and they will receive it as a blessing because you always there to provide all their needs, including this message, a message of deliverance, a message of hope, a message of healing, a message of reconciliation. And I hope that they will always feel safe in coming to your presence. Nga hindi na sila magpalagyo kag magpanago but they present they will present themselves to you 
and they wanted your coverings to put on, to put in their bodies, O God. Whatever it takes, Lord, I pray that you will continue to inspire them, to guide them, O God, and so that they will able to realize your love and nothing else. Your love is powerful, O God. So thank you. Lord, I release blessing and life to these students. Kung ano man ang ginastruggle nila subong, I pray that they will stand because they are in you, because they are protected, O God. They will stand and they can stand still in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. This is our prayer. Amen and Amen. God bless students and enjoy this week, a Christ Emphasis Week. To God be the glory.